If you tried to describe what God is like, it could be difficult or daunting. But when the people who wrote the Bible pondered the mystery of God, they consistently describe God's character in this way, compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, overflowing with loyal love and faithfulness. We're going to look at the second key word in this statement, gracious. The Hebrew word is chanun, which is related to the Hebrew noun chen. This word chen is often translated as grace or favor, and if you study how this word is used throughout the Bible, you find a fascinating story. One meaning of chen is delightful or favorable. In the Psalms, a skilled poet is said to have lips of chen, that is, he can craft beautiful words that bring delight. Or a dazzling piece of jewelry is an ornament of chen. It attracts attention and favor. This is why chen is often the word used to describe a gift given with delight or favor. In these cases, chen could be translated as grace. Like in the story of Esther, who approaches the king of Persia to ask that she and her people be spared from death. She calls this a request for chen. And because the king delights in Esther, he favors her and grants her wish. So, giving a gift of favor is chen because it's motivated by delight. And the most extreme kind of chen is showing favor to someone who should get what they deserve, not a generous gift. Like Jacob, who cheated his brother Esau, ran away, and then after 20 years wants to come back and make things right. So he comes to Esau asking, may I find chen in your eyes? Jacob isn't asking for what is fair, but for favor. And surprisingly, that's what Esau gives him. He chooses to delight in his brother Jacob and show him grace that he doesn't deserve. Now, chen requires a generous spirit, which people sometimes have. But in the Bible, the one who shows more chen than anyone else is God. Like when God rescued the Israelites out of slavery in Egypt, and they quickly betray him by giving their allegiance to a golden idol as their God. But then, Moses steps in and asks God to consider giving a gift that they don't deserve. And God says, yes, by showing the ultimate act of chen, forgiveness and a promise to be with these people. This character trait of God is so reliable that over 40 times in the book of Psalms, people cry out for God's chen when they're sick or in danger or when the Israelites are in exile. And the biblical prophets like Isaiah looked back to God's chen in the past and boldly declared that God will one day show chen to his people by delivering them and all creation from death and ruin. Now, when we turn to the authors of the New Testament, they describe God's chen with the Greek word charis, which means gracious gift. Like when we're introduced to Jesus in the Gospel of John, we're told that Jesus is God's glorious charis become human, sent into a world of people trapped in darkness and death. Because according to the Apostle Paul, we're like the living dead. God has handed humanity over to the destructive consequences of our selfish decisions. But, Paul says, God is rich in mercy, and by his charis, he's rescued us. He's talking about how Jesus' life, death, and resurrection are offered to us as a generous gift of life that is more powerful than death. And as with any gift, all one has to do is receive it. So, now you can see why the biblical authors talk so much about this description of God's character throughout the Bible. When people are willing to own their failures and ask God for chen, he has a consistent and generous response. God gives the gift of himself, his life and his love. And this is what it means that God is gracious.